Wow. This. 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 This is Iceland. Audio jump. According to a recent University of Iceland study, 54% of Icelanders believe in elves. Hidden folk trolls, elves, and fairies are the subjects of lectures and plenty of debate here at Reykjavik's one and only elf school. For about 50 bucks, tourists and locals alike can take a half-day class with the elf school's headmaster. He teaches about Iceland's supernatural history and recounts the stories imparted to him about real-life encounters with elves. 80% or 90% of all my witnesses are psychic, so normal people don't see these beings. They claim, yeah, we are people, we just live in another dimension. Magnus is a scholar, lecturer, and historian. Surely he doesn't buy into the folklore, or does he? Elves and nature spirits do exist. I would be out of my mind if I had any doubts anymore after having talked with more than 1,200 witnesses. But isn't it also quite a coincidence that there's no tangible evidence? We have photos. We have gifts from elves, but that, that doesn't prove anything to skeptics. Skeptics would not accept anything less than uh, the elf on the kitchen table. I'm not searching for evidence. I'm searching for the true origin of this phenomenon and try to get as much information as possible. My quest to understand Iceland's connection with elves continues at nearby tourist attraction, the Elf Garden. Here, I meet with Ragnhildr Jonsdottir, the Elf Whisperer. She invites curious visitors to her cottage for conversation, elf-inspired art and literature, and a cup of herbal tea, created by one of her supernatural pals. All my life I've had invisible friends. The park is full of elves and hildefolk and uh, dwarves and fairies. Ragnhildr says she speaks to her friends mostly through telepathy and meditation. In fact, she can feel their presence in the room at this very moment. Uh, well, they're here watching us, so they're so are right you, here now. <laughs> are you having a conversation right now with them simultaneously yeah. with us? Yeah. By appointment, the Elf Whisperer will take visitors on a tour of the Elf Garden to see her friends' homes and even their place of worship. This is the Elf Church. All the beings meet here to work with the light, as they call it. To get in, are they very small people? They don't have physical bodies like we do. When we humans visit them or go into the church with them, we leave the physical body outside and just the spirit goes inside. Have you done that before? Yeah. She's also no stranger to the homes of Frode, the park's oldest elf. You could say he collects stories and tells stories. And her girlhood friend Pulta, who lives here. There is an elf woman that lives inside the tree, both a doctor and a herbalist. She's very nice, very friendly. And Was she the one who gave us the recipe for the tea today? Yes. And her house is, of course, much bigger on the inside, with lots of plants and all kinds of things that uh, for a curious person like me. Okay, so maybe I didn't get to go inside the home of an elf, or see one with my own eyes. But I did sip on elf tea, and graduated with an honorary degree. I also learned this. Whether or not elves are actually real, believing is just a lot more fun.